Good morning gamers. Today I'm going to be making a Noita Perk tier list. I've never done a tier list before, but you know, this is gonna be fun. Uh, the way I've, I've organized this is like I have a pretty standard tier list. You have the S, A, B, C, and then you have XD tier. Uh, the only per people who would have like use for this tier are like YouTubers and stream. It's like a YouTuber tier. Like you would only pick these tiers to, to do like a challenge. And so do you'll see a YouTube video pop on your feed being, being like, I beat Noite with uh, no one tinkering. Oh, uh, look no. at this. Like that's like, the only reason you would ever pick those. So I'm just gonna, where is it? I'm just gonna slap that in there. Where, where's no one tinkering? Wait, I don't see it. Am I blind? It looks like this with a cross over it. What the f man? Fourth row? Oh, there you are. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you, you go in there. You're dog. It's just a meme. So the, obviously not gonna be there. And and B tier, um, this C tier is just gonna be underwhelming. Like, it's just like, it doesn't change much. Like, it doesn't do anything. You, you, basically, you barely even notice you have it. And the B tier is going to be like, it's good, but uh, with an if. It has like uh, conditions. Projectile slower, it's in B tier. It's good. It makes it so that you're not able to get hit by certain projectiles. Uh, or like it makes it easier to evade them. However, if you're relying on spells like Bubble Spark or like slow moving projectiles like Energy Sphere or something like that, it's gonna be bad because like it's gonna make them slower and much harder to hit enemies with them. It's also gonna make black holes slightly worse to the point where they will basically like, if you shoot a black hole with slow projectile slower and stand still, the, 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 the black hole will just slow to a complete halt. So it's like a plus and a minus. Depends on what you're going for. So that's going to be there. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're just going to do the rest of them from like, from in the order we have here, which is completely randomized. And obviously A tier is just like good perk, pick it if you can. S tier is just like, always pick this. It's fantastic. Uh, so first we have more blood. More blood is exactly what you think it is. It's just more blood. Doesn't really do much, I think. Like it makes, it makes enemies bleed more. And it maybe it's good if you have vampirism. I guess there's some synergy there. But then again, vampirism is dog shit. So you just don't want that. So it's gonna be C tier, underwhelming. Uh, more items in shops is good if you're going for a late game run. Um, <coughs> and you need like a couple of spells to make that late game one that if you're missing in a homing or if you're missing a just like a couple of spells. Getting this when you're going to parallel worlds can be good to like negate some RNG, make you more likely to get what you need. So we're just gonna put that in like B tier. It's like good, but there's an if. A normal shuffle is probably one of my favorite perks in the game. It's gonna be S tier. Um, it's absolutely fantastic. The way wands are, it makes it so that every wand you pick up from now on, or that generates from now on, it's not gonna be shuffle. And the way that wands are balanced in this game is that shuff shuffle wands will generally have really good stats to make up for the fact that they are shuffle. So now those like... What am I listening to? Okay. <laughs> now those shit wands are suddenly really good. So it's, it's, it's very good. Fast levitation. A tier, definitely. Having like vertical movement be good is very good so that you can avoid projectiles, get from A to B faster, get to cover faster, just move around and and like dodge bullets. It's, it's very nice to have. Fire and explosion resistance both go up here. They're basically the same thing, but the fire is slightly better. I'm gonna put them before this. Can I? Hello? There you go. Thank you. This is really hard. Yeah, basically like 90% of the damage in this game is fire and explosion. So being immune to those is obviously really good. If you see these, just like always take them. Stronger hearts, good if you get them early. It, it's better than this one. Uh, this one is like maybe, uh, like extra health gives you 50% more of your max health that you currently have. So if you have 100 health, it's gonna be one, 150. So it's like a late game good, early game bad, like very underwhelming early. So I'm just gonna put that, it, this one's gonna be like B, like lower B. This is gonna be an A tier. Anyways, what was I talking about? Yeah, stronger hearts is good early. Um, but it's, it's, it makes a heart do like 50, 50 more health instead of 25, so it basically makes him double less good. Uh, pretty good early. Tinker Returns Everywhere is up next. This is going to be S tier, but below Shuffle. It's a, it's a quality of life. Uh, for those of you who don't know, you can dig out of a holy temple, holy mountain, instead of like going out the normal way, making it collapse. If you dig out of it, you will piss off the gods, but who cares about that? You will not break the temple if you do that, and you can still tinker in the temple. So, like, you can bring wands back into the temple and tinker them anyway. So, like, you don't need this. It's not necessary. But it's very good. Like, for a newer player, this is a godlike perk. For an experienced player, no shuffle is better. But it's very good. It's, a, it's very good for convenience. Like, if you're going for a long walk to the... Uh, to kill the connoisseur, if you're going to, to, the, to the temple to, like, kill the spider boss... Uh, if you're going anywhere far from spawn or from a holy mountain to pick up a wand or like get some spells, it can be very nice to have. And uh, if you just find one wand with like a single spell you want, you can just pick it up, take it into your hotbar and drop it again. So like it's it's just a, 
it saves time, and I like saving time. Uh, strong levitation, same as this. Well, not the same. This is 75% faster. This is twice as long. Um, it also takes twice as long to recharge. It just extends the bar, basically. It's also a tier, because like, with this, you can hover around a bit more and just stay in the air more. It's easier to reach a platform when you normally wouldn't. Uh, you can get to cover. You can just you have just more movement options, and it's very nice. Like It's, it's very detrimental if you are flying around in the air and you... Uh, lose your levitation and like you're just a sitting duck you're just dead this is no recoil i think yeah it's no recoil it's not normal recoil it's like recoil reduction it's basically putting the modifier for low recoil on every spell you cast which is it's like a modifier perk but it's it doesn't have any downsides i don't think there's any point in the game in noita where you want to have recoil on your wand it's just a it's just a bad thing to have so this is just a i guess high b tier it's high b tier it's not like super good but it's it's nice to have uh more love is also gonna be high b tier uh, it basically makes enemies less aggressive. It's kind of a pussy pick, but uh, if you're going for like a late game glass cannon thing, then having this stacking four of those to make enemies not hit you, it's gonna make the game boring. But it's gonna make it's like if you if you really want to win, it's like a very try hard thing to do. You can do it. So high beat here, situational, only good for late game stuff. Uh, trick greed, it's it's more money. I'm gonna put it like high beat here. If you need money, I'm gonna put this one is gonna be low beat here. Basically, like. To get money, literally just dig to the gold. Get a black hole, get the luminous drill. Go to the gold buy and pick up the gold there. 250,000, like it's gonna carry you throughout the entire base game. You don't need more gold than that. The only times I would pick up greed, or, st or stack, stack either of these, is either if I have trick greed, like this thing here, in combination with this, is like a pretty decent height here. Uh, like if these two are combined, you can get very much for like free healing. That's why trick greed is higher, higher than this. Even though these two essentially do the same thing, I think they are higher... This is way higher because it can synergize with this, which is going to heal you a lot. But yeah, like the only times I would get these two, just for the money, would be to like late game where I'm like tr trying to farm for the really, really expensive perk rerolls. Like we're speaking up in the in the millions. Uh, so they're, they're, they're situational. They're situational. And, and if you're doing like a, a short run, you're not going to go to parallel worlds. Greed and trick greed are completely useless. Like I don't think you will ever need them. Let's see, faster ones, situational. This one I would say is situational. It's good if you're if you're also again late game and you or like if you have a wand that's like just a little bit of recharge time or cast delay from being a godlike wand. Picking up this can just make that happen. And if you think it can carry that can just carry your run for some time, then it's good to have because it's like it makes it it makes the wand low recharge without having to use the mana costing modifier. So it's 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 just good. It's nice to have, but it's situational. It depends on if your wand needs needs it or not, or whatever other perks you have in the pool. Uh, more wand capacity is more situational. It's good late game. In the late game, it's all about having wand slots. Like, you want to have a long line of slots on a non-shuffle wand to make the wands that can, like, carry you throughout the NG plus and all that. But, like, if you are early in the game, more wand slots is something you never should pick. It's just it's just not good for early game. But late game, it is, it's really good. Um, bouncing spells, I've got a newfound respect for. This one, it can make, it, on a surface level, you can use it to like heal yourself with uh, with healing bolts. I think I'll put it like up here, high B tier. Uh, but with chainsaws and uh, luminous drills, this will make them, this will give them extra lifetime, which, mean, which means that you can have a ranged chainsaw or a ranged luminous drill. Uh, it's, it's really, really good. But it can also, it has a downside, like if your spells are bouncy, you, can, you can't dig with energy spheres. Uh, there are some things you can't do anymore. Digging is going to be harder. Like if you have if you have this with the chainsaws and uh, if you use black holes to dig, then just get this because they, that's the only reason to not pick it. Is like if you don't have any digging tools, that's a black hole. Then uh, this can make you unable to dig completely. But it just makes chainsaws and drills so fucking powerful that I, it's just it's just it's just good. Maybe eight here. Yeah, I'll, I'll pump it to eight here. Uh, Angry ghost. Is the next one. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Angry Ghost is a ghost that follows you, and it will copy any spell that flows over it. That can be completely detrimental. If, if for example, a, a hexer will uh, shoot a, a hex, like a polymorph spell over it, you will the ghost that's supposed to be helping you will suddenly start shooting spells that can polymorph you, which, which is bad. However, if you have a healing bolt on you, and you shoot a healing bolt at the ghost, and then you make the ghost shoot healing bolts at you, you suddenly have infinite healing. So like it, it has some really good utility if you're careful. Uh, but again, it can copy enemy spells and, or like any spell with friendly fire and just kill you. It's, it's, it's like a scuffed way of getting infinite healing. It's, you know, situational, but used correctly, it can be very good. Uh, levitating trail is only good in one instance. It's only good if you have homing spells. 
because this is this will make it so that whenever you levitate you will shoot out some some like projectiles that will just float around uh, they go through walls they just like freely move around and like hit enemies uh, a downside is that those projectiles can hit propane tanks and explosive barrels and just trigger a bunch of like reactions in the game that can fuck you up so with homing very good without homing bad uh, invisibility i'm gonna put in like high b it's it can be nice early game if you just are really weak but you have some good like starting points like if you have a good if you have a good starting point it can be good i'm gonna change music what the fuck is this hold up <laughs> i'm gonna put on scary music fuck this <laughs> okay speedrun music nah man i think i did levita levitation trade last yeah uh next up we have oil blood oil blood is just fire immunity it's good it makes you bleed oil oil makes you slippery Oil catches fire, but you're fire immune, so it doesn't matter. It's literally, these two are the same thing. It doesn't matter. Uh, so it's just high tier. The soul powders is... It's situational. If you are relying on digging with uh, ground to sand, this is going to make your digging very efficient. Uh, but it's also, if you, if you don't have good mobility, it's going to make it so that if you travel on the surface, you're going to fall through all the dirt. You're going to fall through all the sand. Uh, so it's, it can be very annoying to deal with in the early game, like if you don't have teleport port. But uh, in some cases it's very convenient. It also makes it so that when Steve Stavari dies, he won't like give you a shower of bone dust, so that's that's nice. Next so we have a item raider, dog shit, don't pick it. Uh, then we have critical hits up. Uh, it's just free damage, but it's not like really good free damage, it's like okay free damage. It's, you know, if you, if you don't have anything else in the perk pool, this can be a decent pick, I guess I'll put it like up here. It's like decent. It's not it's not great. It's okay. Stacking it late game can be good, but it's not like uh, I, I'm not like when, when I'm doing a run and I find this it's just like, oh dude, I got uh, critical hit up. I'm going to do so much damage. It's like it, it's okay. It's 10% to crit and crits in this game to be fair is five times the damage. Some spells can't innately crit, so having crit on those can be a good thing, but you know, it's not it doesn't have a huge impact. Glass Cannon is a lot of fun. It's kind of, it's a Chad pick. It's ballsy. I'm going to put it in A tier just for that. It's also necessary for killing the 33 or boss in some cases. So it's, 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 uh, it's extremely risky. It's a ballsy move, but it's a lot of fun. So I'm going to, for the fun factor, I'm going to push it from B tier to A tier. Uh, Living on the Edge is just Glass Cannon for pussy, so it's going to be in B tier. It makes you do three times more damage when you are at 25% health or lower, uh, which is... Like, you don't want to be at that health threshold unless you are in a controlled situation late game. But, uh, but you need it, you need to combine it with Glass Cannon in the late game to do 2 3 or boss. So it's like, <coughs> for, for like one situational use, I think I'll like put it down here. And I, I, honestly, I don't think these, now with that we have gold to power and these new spells, you might not even need these. But the thing about them is that like, if you pick them, if you do pick them up and like, quintuple your damage or whatever, you're going to see a huge number on the screen and it's going to feel really good. So that's why I still like having them. Perk Lottery, best perk in the game. Can't get You cannot go wrong with picking this. Uh, it can trigger upon pickup too. It basically makes it so that if you pick up a perk, the other ones have a chance to not disappear. So you can just like pick a bunch of spells. Or like spells, perks. So it's, it's very good. Uh, if you see this, always take it. It's like, it's, it is the best. Gold is forever. It's very good for a new player. If you are new to this game, gold is forever is very nice. <coughs> if you're doing a short run, it can be very nice. But... Uh, the thing about this game, it has, the, it has the same issue as creating multiple parallel worlds. If you take it, gold is going to just lay around in your world forever. And it's going to, like, kind of clutter your world save, so that if you are going for a long run, and, like, you're, you're exploring multiple parallel worlds, it can... It doesn't help. It doesn't help your save stability, as far as I can tell. I, I don't think... It, I haven't confirmed this. I don't know the numbers or, like, how this works, but I can only assume that this doesn't help. So, you know, for new players, good. But honestly, for, to get money, I'm going to put it a bit further down. To get money, literally just dig to the gold biome. Just get, get just get drills, man. Just get drills. Like, it, money should never be an issue in this game. It's so easy to get. Acceleration is going to be up here. A tier. Makes you faster. Can't go wrong with it. Unless you get too fast, then it's kind of a problem. But, you know, you can just choose not to go faster. Uh, it makes it easier to, to dodge projectiles, makes it easier to get from A to B, it's just very nice to have. The base movement speed in this game is very low, so just upping, getting like one or two of these is very nice. More than that is a bit overkill, but it's nice to have. 
Uh, more recoil, bad. Don't take it. You don't uh, again. Recoil is a bad thing. Like you don't want to get. You don't want to shoot once and end up on the other side of the screen. Like it's just. It's just a bad deal. Like you're 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 shooting yourself in the leg if you pick this. I guess it can be a meme in meme tier because you're literally just fucking yourself over at this point. Concentrated spells is a perk that I. I love this one. Uh, it 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 makes your spells more concentrated. Like if you have a a triple cast that like has like this symbol, where it like it will scatter and cast three at the same time. They will all go in a straight line. It's just like, it really concentrates your spells. And uh, it has a hidden modifier of making you have a little bit more cast delay, but also 13, a static 13 more damage per per spell. Which means that a, a, a for example, it takes Spark Bolt for example. Spark Bolt has three base damage. This will add 13 to each Spark Bolt. Effectively, in, like, quadrupling the damage. So if you're shooting Spark Bolts really fast, your damage is just going to go get go insane really fast. Like it's a very game early game carry. Like if you if you have bad damage early game, you don't have any good damage spells. Using this is insanely good. It's super. Like I I love this one. I th I think I would pick it over. Uh, would I? Uh, it's so good. I'm like considering picking it over this. Like <laughs> it's super good. It does fuck up your heal bolt. To be fair, heal bolt will also have damage now, but just add light shot to it. Like uh, this is a Chad pick. Always cast one off is very nice. It can't add the crazy one offs like healing circle or some of those. It's it's like a bit limited than the ones you find in the wild, but it's very fun to mess with. Like say you have a fast firing one that has good stats, uh, but it doesn't. You don't have any good spells. You can gamble with this one and try to and get like a one that shoots. Uh, always cast extra mana. Always cast reduce recharge time. Always cast like a good projectile spell. It it or like damage up or heavy shot or something like that. It can happen. Um, but it can also, you know, fuck your wand up. So, like, it's a... You flip a coin. Like, this is, like, the ultimate RNG Chad pick. I'll put it in situational. If I find this in the first mountain, unless, like, I will always pick it unless I find, like, these, I guess. Uh, kills to mana, extremely underwhelming. Uh, if you need mana for your wand, find it through other means than relying on killing enemies. It's not good. I never, like, mess with this. It's just, like, unreliable. It's, it's probably convenient, but very unreliable. Like, if you, if you have nothing else you need, I guess take it, but, like, you're never gonna really need this. Extra knockback on enemies is just going to make your life harder, I'm pretty sure. Low C tier. This, uh, if, it, it knocks enemies further away when you hit them, but if, you, if you're using a fast-firing wand, it's going to knock them so far away that the other bullets won't connect. Like, you're just going to get cucked by this. So I'm gonna put it in low C tier. I, like, I don't know of any situation in the game where, like, knocking an enemy back like, an extra couple of pixels is going to, like, come to your advantage, like. Uh, extra potion capacity, I think, has been removed from the game, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna put it, like, in the underwhelming tier. It's like a high underwhelming. It's like a quality of life at best. Uh, this can be XD tier, actually. Uh, this is like a quality of life at best. It makes it so that every potion you pick up from now on will have 80% more capacity, which is, is almost double, to be fair. Like, it's a lot of liquid. But... I, I once stacked like five of these, and just just like as a side note, if you if you do that, the potions are gonna have so much fucking liquid that it's gonna take you like ten years to empty them. Like, <laughs> and, and, like I, it was annoying for me then because like it's not maybe a problem for like a cash for someone who plays off stream, but I don't think people come to my stream to watch me piss out the bottle for ten minutes in the lake. Like it 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 can get really annoying if you stack these. <coughs> if you wanna fill a bottle with something else than what it already has. So that's, uh, just, just note that. It's very underwhelming. Uh, high gravity, situational low. It's similar to this, whereas, like, it will give you more vertical momentum. Like, it will, it will in increase the gravity and make you fall faster, so, like, maybe you can dodge some more by doing that, but it's, it's like a fun modifier to add to your game. Uh, next up we have Peace with Gods. Peace with Gods used to be dog shit. Like, if you can't kill Stavari in this game, you're doing something wrong. However, they recently added Skuda. Skuda is a Stavari 2.0, it's him on steroids. Uh, so now, if you're gonna be digging through temples without this, consider taking this. A lot of things that works on regular Stavari will not work on the big guy. That's, that, that is it. So it's a, uh, like, high situation now. It, I think normally I would place it, like, down here in C. But now it's gonna be high B, because it's, uh, Stavari got buffed. They gave him roids. He's tanky, he has double the shields, he shoots more, he's, like, he eats ground around him. He, he's, he's a pain in the ass, for sure. So, like, having this to just make him fuck off is, is nice. Uh, Hungry Ghost is next. This is a beta branch, uh, perk. I've had them. I've never seen them do anything. Maybe they're bugged. Maybe they are just very underwhelming. I'm gonna put it in C tier. 
because I haven't seen them do shit ever. They're supposed to eat projectiles. Like they float around you and they're supposed to like passively eat enemy projectiles, but I've never seen them do that. Never. I'm just gonna put it here. Uh, faster projectiles is next. It can be nice if you're doing a short run and you're relying on things like energy spheres that are very slow innately and like you want them to hit faster and further so you can like use it as offensively more. Or bubble sparks, it's good for those. But the thing about like picking perks like this that are essentially just modifiers as perks is that it can fuck up some of your late game one combinations because in the late game the way you get the most damage out of your spells if you're using bouncing burst for example which is a very good spell uh, what you're doing essentially with your wand setup is that you're balancing speed right you're adding heavy shots to reduce speed you're adding faster projectiles to increase it and like balancing it out so that you can make the bouncing burst start at the low speed and end up at a high speed because then it's going to do more damage that's just how velocity damage works it's a bit uh, technical but it can be a bit annoying late game when you're like trying to calculate speed but like for for all other purposes it's just a plus but it's like it's not a huge difference i, I would say this is the same as critical up i guess except that it can make the game a bit like more weird late game uh, next up we have Attract Gold. Attract Gold is the quality of life as be at best. Only pick this if you have nothing else to pick and you're like really late game and you have everything you need. Um, it makes gold flow towards you. Do note though that gold uh, nuggets have physics. They can collide with things. If there's a thing between you and your gold orb, it will pull the string at you. So like if there's a propane tank between you, the gold will push it towards you. If there's a... Uh, say there's a corpse here, there's gold here, there's polymorphin here. It will pull it against you. Like, it can potentially noita you. So uh, be careful with that. Look imitation is a meme. This is like this is like YouTube material. You will see like, hey, beating the game with look imitation. How how did I do it? It's like it's it's basically a meme. It it makes you grow like, and then those legs will attack enemies a bit. But it gives you unlimited levitation, but you can only levitate near ground. It's bad. It's awful. It's gonna fuck you up. It's, don't take it unless you want to have a fun run. It, yeah, it, it sucks, but it's fun. That's it. Hence XD. Breathless, I like having. If you're ever going to the clouds in this game, clouds tend to eat you. If you're standing on a cloud and liquid comes in the cloud, it will, uh, the cloud will eat you. It's going to bore you. You're going to get stuck in the cloud and you're going to, to choke to death. So having this is nice. You would have to have some special type of, some special needs if you actually like drown in water in this game. So like it's not used for that. <laughs> but for the cloud biome, it's very good. That's about it. I'm gonna put it in like high B. The gas fire is essentially the same thing, but a little bit different. Uh, it, it will vaporize clouds, so the clouds can never choke you. It will also vaporize um, freezing liquid, or freezing vapor, and toxic gas. So it's, it's nice to have for like navigating the cloud biome, for avoiding freezing damage, for avoiding gas damage. Um, but you need fire resistance for this to be viable, because if not, it's just gonna set you on fire. It's, it's unlikely to set you on fire, but it can do it. So just be wary of that. I mean, it's pretty obvious there's a fire icon on it, so it's gonna set you on fire. High mana low capacity, like lower than this, like here. I if you have a wand, it, it is, it, what this spell does is that the wand you're currently holding will have half the slots and get like 200 to 400 more max mana and 100 to 200 more mana recharge, I think, not completely sure on the numbers, but it's, it just makes your, your wand better with mana and lower with capacity. Uh, it's good, it can be used late game. If you have a wand that you want to invest in for some reason and you want it to have more mana to cast your shit, like, because late game spell combinations cost, like, 2k mana to cast, to cast. So it can be nice to stack it and then stack this afterwards to negate the slot loss. But it's a big investment for a wand. You're, you're gonna have to really like that wand. The, the, the wand you're gonna invest this on needs to have, like, crazy sentimental value to you for it to be worth. But it's, like, I guess low, low, low B tier. <coughs> now, leg mutation is this but worse. I don't think the legs attack things. It's just, it's, it's literally a meme. This perk is a joke added in by Nola Games. It's like if you want to do a meme run on YouTube, you can get this, but it will only make the game hard. But it, but I guess the one plus this has over look imitation is that look imitation is only found in temples. You need to sacrifice two or more other perks to pick up this. This one you get for free. So it's actually better than this one even though they're both garbage. Uh, extra perk, 
makes every every next mountain have one more perk available for you to choose. Combine, combine it with perk lottery for a shit ton of perks. It has good synergy with that. I will put it in like A tier. It's very good if you find it early. I'm not gonna say S tier. Because you, you sacrifice... It depends on where you are in the run. If you are late game, if you're gonna go for the parallel worlds, having extra perk is like almost mandatory. If you're doing a run where you're just going to kill the final boss without going to parallel worlds, it's not that good. It's okay. It's just it's just a way to mid to like negate RNG at best. But like, it's I guess you can put it like here, like a little bit higher up, like there. But it's not S. I don't think it's S. This a healthy exploration is a beta branch perk, as far as I know. I love it. I I, I really like it. If you are a new player in Noita, get this. This is an amazing perk for new players, even for me. Like if you, it will heal you for 60 health every new biome you explore, or new, not the biome, new area you explore, an orb room, the volcanic lake, every new level, uh, the holy mountain, the side levels. Like there's so many opportunities. The temple, the lake, the the frozen vault. The, it's it's really good. I'll put this. You know what? It's better than extra perk. It's in the top of the A tier. This is really good. A lot of safety. You can like. If you have a, a way to get to the to the top of the, the mountain, you can just like take it so take some time, go for a walk and heal back. You can just go for a little hike and you get all your health back. It's very nice. It's 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 not bad at all. It's very good. It allows you to save some of those health ups in the mountains that you normally would want to take for safety. I like it. Um, I didn't think I would like it, but I did actually like it a lot. Uh, this is, like, I think it's called wall, Wand Pinpointer. It adds a laser sight to your wand and makes every spell more uh, accurate. It's the same as this, but it doesn't have the hidden modifier of Castile and extra damage. So it's like, it's basically this for pussies. It's like, it's okay to have. It's like a quality of life. B tier. Situational. If you have high spread spells, like if you're spamming Bubble Burst, maybe it's good to have. But I'm not, like, in love with it. It makes them go faster. Oh, dude. Okay, if it makes them go faster, I actually didn't know that. I'll put it here then. Good for casting black holes. Um, more hatred. It's the opposite of more love, obviously. Um, it's it's just a meme. I think this is just a meme. It makes enemies with the same factions kill each other. The more you stack it, the more they will kill each other. Decent synergy with uh, gold is forever, but it's not something that you would like. This is an XD. This is still totally an XD. It's only if you want to have like a fun run, you would pick this. A low gravity is XD. It's challenge. It makes it more difficult for you to navigate, and or more difficult for you to avoid uh, projectiles and move faster downwards or upwards. It's just cringe. Don't take it. I put it like here. Exploding gold and exploding corpses, I think, can be put next to each other. And th that's XD. Those are both, both XD. Note is a game known for killing players with environmental shit. It's what the game does. These things will make more things explode. They will make more unwanted reaction happen. It's probably, you know, I'm willing to bet money that if you pick these two, they will make, they will be the reason you die. These two here, they will kill you. 100%. So, uh, XD tier. Vampirism is also XD. Like, it's just bad. I've never had it, but people have been telling me since the moment I installed this game, like three months ago, everyone who has talked about vampirism has said that it's dog shit. <coughs> these... These fuckers! Do you see this guy here? This is the spawn of Satan himself. These things are are they designed? Oh, you get a little you get a little helper every time you enter the holy mountain. It will spawn a little helper. But you know what? People have been spawning these little fuckers at me with wish spawns for the past like month. And every time, every time I get the homunculus on my team, I will take a tablet. This is a tablet. I take a tablet and I fucking throw it so hard at these guys that I break their neck because they will only, only fuck you up. They are little, like plants sent into your game to blow up the propane tank next to you. That's literally what this is for. It's a cruel joke. It's an XD tier lowest. Contact damage? It's, I would say like, see, you don't want to be close to enemies. You really don't want to. This will make, this will damage enemies when they're close. And sometimes you don't even want to damage enemies. It only damages enemies. I guess it can be okay, but, well, it's probably better than, the, than this. It's like high C tier, I suppose. This thing is the same as this. Uh, this one has a little cute face, so he gets to be higher than the Mournful. I've also had the Mournful. It doesn't... Like, I had three stacks. I didn't notice anything. So I, I just gonna put it in, like, underwhelming dog shit here. But it's not, like, it's not griefing. It's just, like, not good. Uh, bumps or, like, spells materialized allows you to take spells and put them in your inventory slots. It's uh, absolutely not worth the perk. 
it's it's just it's not even XD. It's just an it's just completely underwhelming. You will probably never use this. Eat your vegetables. Beta branch perk. It's being it's very work in progress. It's like kind of unfair to me to evaluate it right now, but it's basically when you eat food, the more saturated you are, the more damage you deal. If you aren't saturated, you will start taking damage. Now, as we all know. Taking damage in the roguelike game is really bad, so it's not worth the risk as far as I can tell. There's better ways. There's better ways to get damage than this dog shit. It's like, it's XD, because it's just like a challenge run at that point. Freezing? Freezing fear? Field? Freezing aura? It's uh, an XD spell. It's XD. Because it's, it's fire immunity, but it will freeze. It will freeze liquids around you. It's dog shit. What this is going to do, I'm also willing to bet money that this spell, what it's going to do if you pick it up, it's going to freeze water around you. And it's going to choke you to death. That's what it's going to do. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. It's going to kill you. XD. Uh, electricity is like a uh, scuffed electric immunity. It's just a worse version of it. Uh, if you have creeper liquid and breathless, this can be good. But it's very, very, very rare. It's going to blow up like environmental stuff around you. It's going to blow up barrels. It's going to blow over paint tanks. It's going to trigger some reactions you don't want. If you're completely desperate for electric immunity, I guess take it. But like it's going to be here. Be here. Situational. It will kill you, yeah, guaranteed. But it's a bit fun to have, so I guess here. Laser emitter. Uh, it's 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 fun to have. It's fun to have. But if you shoot a bomb, it's going to blow up the bomb. Like, if you have this on, it, it shoots a cutting laser out of your wand constantly. It's XD tier, guaranteed. It's XD. Because, like, what you're going to do is, is get this and be like, Oh, shit, look, I can just kill people by aiming at them. And then, like, you shoot a bomb and you just, like, die. It's not good. Phasing is like high B tier. If a projectile moves slow enough, phasing will teleport the projectile in front of me to behind you. So, yeah, but if you get hit, you take more damage. So like a slow moving projectile will get teleported behind you. A fast moving projectile like a um, sniper shot, it's not It's not going to do anything about that. So it's like, it's okay, but like maybe below breathless. Plague rats, it's clearly a high S tier rank. Whenever you kill an enemy, you get rats and rats are good. So definitely take this. Because rats are very good distractions, and they're fun, and they're cute, so, you know, I unironically like it. I unironically like it. I think it's a good perk. Projectile duplication. I th There were some nuances with this. It, it, it has a chance to duplicate your projectiles, but I also think you take more damage from projectiles too. It's, it's basically a meme. It's kind of a meme. It's not XD, but it's like, it's a bit risky. You don't always want to duplicate your shit. I'd put it like mid B tier or some shit. Projectile deletion sector i don't know what it's called but it adds a little red sector behind you that will uh, delete projectiles that passes into it it's good to have high a b tier if you're playing with twitch spawns and someone summons a saw blade in your ass it's nice to have uh if salvi and tuntia shoots a polymorph projectile behind you and you just like eat it with this bam it saved your life it's good to have i like it it's co combined with repulsion sector and shield it's, it's really good no reason not to take it homing is gonna be here i thought about it uh, having homing is not always good you don't want black holes to home you don't want uh healing bolts to home, you don't want uh, region fields to home, but if you have a fast firing bubble sparks, I think they're called, it's godlike. If you have a levitation trail, I think it's here somewhere. I think, yeah, if you have this and this, it's it's like cheese. You can use levitation trail with homing to just like levitate in a wall and your levitation things will just like clear your level for you. Um, very good in hasty base, for example. Tight tunnels is very nice, but uh, yeah. It just makes things home, it's it's good. But then again, it's a modifier spell, you can get this by just using the modifier. It just costs 60 mana, like this is a good early game carry, uh, that, that's all I'd say. Boomerang spells is XD, 100% XD. I don't see why you would ever want your projectile to come back to you, like why the... You, you, and if you want that, you can just get the modifier for it. It's XD. It's like, it's so bad. I, I, don't, I don't see why you would ever want that. Um, Repulsion Sector is gonna be A tier. Always good. It not only makes projectiles go away from you, it also makes black holes faster. Although more inaccurate, it makes them faster. I think it's always worth to get. Um, this is basically the same, but worse. I'll put it like low 8 here. It, it's, it's, it's just like this, but in a sector in front of you. Like, I don't know why they added that. It's the same thing. Electric community 8 here, but not as good as these two. 3 I mean. It just makes you immune to electricity. Like, you know, you can't get stunned by electricity anymore. You don't take damage from it. It's good. Melee immunity is gonna be up here, uh, simply because melee is more likely to harm you than electricity. And the, the, you know the, the squid enemies that freeze you? If they freeze, if you're frozen and take melee damage, you're gonna take around 400 damage. So being immune to melee is pretty good. This one used to be dog shit. It used to be very not versatile. However, 
You can, because it only pro protects you before from the liquid, the toxic liquid. Now, it protects you from toxic rock, it protects you from toxic gas, and I think there are some more forms of it, but it makes you immune to all of them, which it should from the beginning. So I'll put it up here, it's very nice to have. Item radar, um, it's okay. It's like a, it's quality of life. I wouldn't pick this like early on, but late game it can be nice to like locate hearts and chests and shit. It's it's fine. All seeing eye is gonna be A tier. Or S S A. I like having it. It's gonna be low S tier. It just gives you that thing permanently. You can see everywhere. It's it's nice to have. There's no reason to not have this. It's always good. S tier. Uh Worm Detractor and No More Lucky and Worm Digging as have been fused into the same thing. It's called Feared by Worms. Uh, I I don't have the icon for it, but that's what this is gonna represent. It's quality of life still. It makes worm less likely to attack you. It makes them no, no longer dig dirt so that you, they can't like anger the gods and your behalf. So it's it's okay to have, but like since it's been fused together, it's nice to have, I suppose. Not bad, not great. It's okay. Repelling cape. Good, but situational. Only late game I would pick this. Or maybe like if you're doing a short early game run, but mid game, no. Uh, this is good if you have uh, stainless armor. Uh, or invisibility, it has some synergies there, but it's going to make you less likely to... It's going to make Ambrosia useless to you. It's going to uh, make Lively Concoction worse, but it's going to make like, you know, if you stack it two times, then you will never be toxic again, you will never be slowed by slime again, you will never, like, there's there's a lot of good things with it, especially if, you, again, Stainless Armor is, is, is an S tier that I'll get to later. So it, it synergizes with the really good perks, that's why it's like high up here. Better than facing at least. Extra life, if you die, you get set to 100 health again. It it's only used once, but it's good to have. I'll put it high B tier. Or actually, I'll put it like A, it's A tier, it's A tier. Stacking these is very good. Revenge bullets, I've never used. Uh, whenever you take damage, you get you shoot like something back. Like, it's not great, but it's like, okay, like low B tier. Revenge bullets will fuck you. I guess they could, sometimes you don't, oh yeah, sometimes you don't want to shoot. That's, that's true. It can actually, it's probably more likely to fuck you than help you. It's gonna be like, it's XD. It's actually XD. What is this again? This is revenge explosion. When you take damage, you explode, but you don't take damage from that explosion. But if you take damage next to a propane tank, that's all I'm gonna say. This is XD tier. <laughs> don't take it. Now revenge rats, however. That's a pretty good perk. That's gonna be like A tier. When you take damage, you spawn rats. Rats, good. Uh, revenge tentacle. Whenever you take damage, you spawn a tentacle that like hits stuff. The thing about tentacles though is that they will- tentacles have this property, physics property, where they will- It will hit something and then it will pull it towards you. So like if- if there's an enemy next to- I, I'm using propane tanks, I'm using the worst, like, worst scenario possible in a lot of these cases, but that's what, how you gotta think when you play Noita. Uh, if- if an enemy is next to a propane tank, and hits you with this, the revenge tentacle will hit the enemy and the propane tank, and pull the propane tank to you. You don't want that. It's- it's like, underwhelming as fuck, and it can also fuck you up. Uh, living on the edge. No. It's it's basically living on the edge. It's this, it's, it's like... Well, if you're close to an enemy... I forgot the name of this. But if you're close to an enemy, you will get a, a temporary, like, buff that will give you more damage to, or, like, crit chance temporarily. And it stacks. The more enemies that are close, the more crits you will do. But it's like it... It's just... It's just this, but scuffed. Like, it's... It's, it's here. It's like there. Maybe, maybe there. Saving Grace is actually really good. This is, uh, the thing about Saving Grace is that it's, it's reusable. You can use it again. Uh, if you take lethal damage, let's say you get hit by a nuke. The nuke, you have, you have two health, a nuke hits you. It will set you to one health, instead of killing you. Uh, if you then heal up back to two health, it will do it again. It's, it's like a reusable extra life. But if it's like fast ticking damage, like if you're in lava or if you're on fire, it's, it's not gonna be very efficient. But it's like nice to have, along with other defensive things. So, and it's reusable, so it's a low A tier. <coughs> shield is also going to be an A tier up here with the repulsion field it's it's unbelievably good against Heasy He's, the, the little Heasy dogs with or not the actual dogs but like the Heasy fodder enemies with the guns this will completely negate them like it will just make it so that the, the, the bullets will bounce right back off you they can even hit them back it's it's really good for like level 3 and onwards It's it's actually incredible for that I think it can also bounce back the uh, the big grenade bullets from the Heasy, from the the boss enemies. Like the his name is his his name starts with T, but he has like the, the big Heasy that will like spawn smaller Heasy when you shoot them. His bullets hit for like thirty or forty, and this can bounce them back, so it's like it's really good. Uh, slime blood, 
is literally quality of life. It makes you bleed slime and take less projectile damage. But it's not like you find this perk and you're like, Oh dude, I have slime blood, now, now this is the run! Like, it's it's nice to have. It also makes you not be slowed by, by slime, which is okay, I guess. It's, well, it's better than salt powders, like, it's it's like up here, I guess. It's, it's, it's nice to have, but it's not, like, great. Faster swimming is also a quality of life. It just makes you swim faster, literally. You can fall faster in liquid, you can swim faster in liquid, levitate faster, move faster. It's like up here. It's nice to have, but it's not great. This stainless armor is fantastic. You, if you aren't stained, you take 50% less damage. 50% if you aren't stained. So this is gonna be uh, like up here with the immunities. Like maybe here even. Like there. It's very good. With, with repelling cape. If you stack this, like... First you take 50% damage, next stack 25, next stack 12.5, and so on. Like, you're gonna take- if you stack this, you're gonna take, like, no damage. Um, and with Repelling Cape, it's gonna be on all the time. Like, two stacks of this, and two stacks of this, you will permanently take, like, 25% damage. It's really good. Um, Never Skip Leg Day is XD. If you want to have fun, it's high XD. This is gonna be low XD, this is gonna be high- this is, like, the best XD. Because you can kick things- if you stack this, like, five times, you kick an object, and it's just, like, out of existence. It's, it's really fun, but it's not gonna help you really. Uh, telekinetic kick is basically the same thing, but for like, it's like, it it cucks you too, because if you're doing the the puzzle with the music boxes, you can't actually kick if you have telekinetic kick. It lets you like environmental kill a lot of enemies, which is funny, but it it locks you out of one quest or one secret. Um, next up, we have teleportation dodge XD tier. It just makes you teleport when you don't want to. Stupid. Teleportation is the same thing, but worse. It's gonna be like next to this. Actually, it's not It's not as bad as this, guys. These are like lowest. This, whenever you take damage with this, you just get teleported, which is really bad. Like, don't get this. It, this is a meme. This is literally a meme. Unlimited spells is high A tier. It doesn't make all spells unlimited. Black holes, circle of vigor, healing bolt, they won't be unlimited, but everything else will. Like, uh, divide by 10, a magic missile, uh, a lot of those things. It's, it's, very, it's just a really convenient thing to have. Um, puke rats, it's like, it's rats, but it's super situational. This is like the situational rat spell. If you for some reason puke a lot, like if you played League of Legends and it made you puke, then I guess you could pick this. It's like, okay. Wand Experimenter, it's like exploration but scuffed. It can be good early game healing, I'll put it like here. I think it heals you for like 14 or something like that whenever you find a new wand, so like if you just use a bunch of wands, you can heal, I guess. It's, it's nice to have, but it's not like, fantastic. A lot of the ones you find, this will actually make you more likely to kill yourself, because if you find the wand in the wild, and you don't completely understand how wands work, and you fire it, you can just die. So, it's like, yeah, it's healing, but be careful. Wand Raider is actually nice to have. I'll put it over that, or like, maybe here. It lets you locate wands, I mean, from a further, from a longer distance. For example, in the, in the final level, before the final boss, uh, wands are very scarce. You won't find many of them, but with Wand Raider, it becomes less tedious. I, I mostly use it for like late game runs where I'm just like going around looking for wands and trying to find like new spells and having one raider then uh, will be like super helpful. But it's not like, you know, it's not the first thing you pick up. Maybe it's like down here, I guess. Like there. And then you have Maggot Attractor as the final thing. It's completely X. It's just XD. It's dog shit. It's, it, it makes worms attack you more. Like, why, <laughs> why would you want that? It's awful. Don't take it. And I guess that's it. Does anyone have any have any have any thoughts? Your thoughts? Closing comments? Any any adjustments I should make? Maggot list. You know, I guess if you know how to if you're efficient at killing large worms, then this can be good so you can farm health apps, but yeah. Homunculus is higher, you're getting timed out. Why is oil blood rate so highly? Because oil blood is literally fire immunity. This will make you immune to fire. It's 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 fantastic. There goes Asano. My my B tier is like kind of uh, random. Like the order of this is not like I didn't give this too much thought. An A tier. Maybe I should like do something in here. This is higher than that. I think Grace is better than that. Like there, maybe? Other than that, A S tier is pretty accurate. Like now. There we go. Facing? Nah, I don't think facing is that good. I remember the first time you got the leggy perk, that was so fun. <laughs> yeah, I killed an enemy and I got a perk. I said, oh dude, it's a free perk. That was before I picked up any of the essences. When I picked up the SSS in this game, I learned that just because it is free doesn't mean it's good. But uh, yeah, I think that's uh, that's gonna be it for the for the tiers today. Maybe I'll do like a spell tier list at some point. But spell, dude, spell tier list. There's so many fucking spells. It's gonna take like now. I've been sitting here for I, I've been I've been. This took an hour. 
A spell tier list will take a long fucking time. <laughs>